Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Tales of Berseria. In the last episode, we finally got to sail our ship over here to the port of Isolt, or Isut, or whatever, however you say it, spelled with uh, Y-S-E-U-L-T, however you pronounce that shit. Uh, we, we took a little bit of a gander around here, but we, we found a, um, a cat box. Was I able to open the cat box? I don't remember. But I do remember that now that I could go around the world and do whatever I want via the ship, I decided to go grind for cat tokens or cat shinies, whatever. And as you can tell by the one I just picked up right there, I actually did that. So now I have like 600 and something shinies. So that's cool. Let's go double check because I'm thinking I did open this chest over here, I'm pretty sure. That, oh, maybe I didn't. The one down there. I didn't open it. Okay, so let's go open that real quick, and then we'll explore the town properly, because all we kind of did was take a look around. We didn't talk to anybody. We didn't go to where we're supposed to go. We didn't do anything here other than take a quick, just a quick once over. There's still other treasures laying around and stuff, I'm sure. Like, I went over there and got that treasure, but that was about all I really did. But yeah, I have 606 shinies right now. We're going to use a big chunk of those to uh, open up this box that I thought I opened it already. I must have been shy by about 30 or so. I know I had over 100 already. At least I thought I did. Anyway, that's not a new item for me. Wah, wah. Next one, which hopefully we'll already have enough freaking things for. And uh, yeah, I reserve the right to do that in between any streams when we need the cat shinies for a box that I haven't been able to open. And as long as the world stays open for me from now on until, you know, until the end of the game, which I don't know if that'll always be the case, but let's hope so. I figured the game will open up for us at some point. I think we're just starting to get to that point in the game. Sometimes these tail games do that to you, though. Like the ones I played before, the, game, the world was more open in general. Like you could just, it'd be a world map and you can go explore. But you were limited to the area you could go up to. Like you couldn't just explore the entire world until you get that far. And then obviously there's ways to fast travel or there was a way to like traverse the world faster via vehicle or something. There's always something, you know. And in this case, it's just the areas you can explore them openly, but you couldn't go back to other ones without a boat. Now we got a boat that we can use properly. How long that will last, we'll see. Let's talk to this guy. It's become common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gand. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and Southgan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs, and it floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to Southgan. He had used the Natan logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and Southgan, and the age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but... Within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgand. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, Age of Exploration, more like Age of Exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but... South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand. Shenanigand, a what really a name. Place. Wow, that was a long-ass conversation for just a random NPC guy. I thought that was going to like unlock a thing we needed to go talk to somebody about. It was the only exclamation point on my fucking map, so... I guess we're just supposed to figure out who we need to talk to on our own. Our main thing is we need to look around for information about this. I, I mean, did they say it was a woman? We're supposed to look for somebody who can translate our book that we have. Like, that's kind of our whole purpose for being here. So, I don't know. Do you know anything? I'm going to need some identification. Travel permit if we got one. Give that here. Magi Lou's Menagerie, eh? Very well. But I'll warn you, you should be careful how you dress. You didn't have an exorcist with you. I'd take you in for questioning. Well, that's cool. Apparently, you don't recognize Eleanor as a traitor yet. But maybe some other time. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they're not, like, 
Victor Eleanor the Traitor. Also, holy shit, I wasn't paying attention. I have a fucking expedition I need to turn in. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Take this. Let's do wow, three losses. Gotta love it. Scout Going ships. back. Norman Islands, you have failed me. We'll try again. I think I did one of those off screen, actually, the expeditions. And I might have got something. I don't remember what it would have been. I don't think I got anything super important, but I might have got some items. I don't know. I probably could have done. I really only grinded the cat shinies for like a half an hour. I didn't grind for that long. So I did get one expedition done. I figured I might as well since I'm playing the game, anyways. It's not like I'm going to get anything that you can't see in the list of things you get from that place, you know? Nothing will be too crazy. Oh, there's a path over here. Well, where does this go? Fuck it. Let's see. Oh, my God. What a big-ass town. This town is huge. Okay. Well, this is where I need to be. I see my star. Let's see what's going on up here first. See the forehead beneath the floor over there. Don't tell new groups. Okay. You mean down there where all the kids are at? It's not that secret. I can see you. You're not even hidden. All I gotta do is take the stairs and I see your bitch asses. Your bitch asses. No other shinies back here? Hmm, that's surprising. We'll find them. I don't... Mm, you know what? I'll talk to you real quick. This whole house is still above the water. Yeah. That's what you call... Flood resistant until the storm comes in and breaks all your wood and bullshit because it ain't withstanding storms. Looking for a lady called the Grimoire. Does that name ring any bells? I don't know her, and let's face it, your pickup line needs some work. You're gonna have to work harder than that if you want to catch my attention. Wow, what a biznitch. Grimoire? At least make up a real name. We're used to living in the head. Huh, so to pair. Right now, we'd like to dive and see naked. Now we have to warm up and put on swimsuits. Lame. Nude. Do it in the nude. Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Mogulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. Oh, damn. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat. It's them. Oh shit. It's Teresa and Flynn, the or whatever that kid's name was. The preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Polymedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister... I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. So, there's a demon in Haria. It sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. Oscar, that's his name. <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. hasn't 
hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. Then how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> It's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. Fucking Mogilu just stirring shit up as usual. Not that we're not right to be suspicious of Eleanor. But Jesus Christ, Mogilu. Fuck off for a minute. We get it. Cause yeah, Eleanor's terrible at lying, clearly. She's just like holding her breath and hoping that we don't ask any more questions. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Watch out for them. Speaking of which, more triangles. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel. Yo, Bakelba, what up, man? Welcome. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable, too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Shigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme. But actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think... This is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, <coughs> like he said. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool, by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh. Ooh. Two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick, which one will the Muppet pick? 
How about an older brother instead? <laughs> How about fuck this? I'm out. Girls are complicated. Didn't they tell you that, Luffy? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, good times. Good, good times. Oh, wait, no, I came from this way. Oops. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, looks like I need to go over here for some information. I can always use some information. Always information. Ooh. Gotta have my shiny. Also, the shop and the inn are both in this area as well. <coughs> so that's cool. And also, funky hiccuping in your earballs. Sorry about that. Also, Baklava. I did say hello, right? It's going well. Just got started here. Haven't been playing for more than like 10 minutes or so. Just watching cutscenes here in the beginning of this area. And uh, yeah. How's it going with you, good sir? Hope, uh, hope you're doing well. I feel like I haven't seen you in a few days. Enoth bottle. Enoth bottle. Let's see. Should we talk to this guy? It's going to be the same games as the one at the dock, right? Bienfu Bounce? Wait, which one is this one? Did we play this one? No! Try to make Bienfu jump as far as you can across the water. Repeatedly press the buttons indicated for each stage to build speed. Once you reach the glowing jump area, press L1 or R1 to jump. Huh. Just before BNU hits the water surface, a button and a target will appear on the screen. If you press the button just as it reaches the target, BNF will skip across the water and send it jumping farther. TL coins, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's try this. This could be interesting. I'll do easy first just to learn. Jump by pressing R1 or L1. Repeatedly press the appropriate button. Yeah, okay. I have no idea, but we'll see. Appropriate buttons is assuming what it pops up on the screen. I mean... I don't know. What's the appropriate buttons? Oh shit, I probably pressed that too early. Okay, I don't think I understood that at all, but I got a, I got a ninth place, so cool for me, right? Let's retry that. You doing fine, kind of sick, so you've been focused on trying to get better. Press square repeatedly. You didn't say that before. It's the appropriate button. What the fuck kind of... At least now I know. All right. Square repeatedly. Here we go. Run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run, run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run, run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run. Oh, shit. I didn't press jump. Oops. Let me try that again. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to press jump on that. I must have just pressed it perfectly at the right time last time. All right. But you've never done this mini game? Well, I'm glad to show you, Bakuba, because I'm. this is an interesting one. It's very strange. Basically, skip a Bienfu. Ha! Oh, yeah. That looks good right there. And... Ha! Ha! Yep. Ha! And ha! And ha! And yup. That was pretty good. What was that? Holy shit, dude. First place. S+. Plus. Let's go. Let's change the difficulty. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so the buttons change depending on what you're doing. Okay, so this one is... Press... That and square in order repeatedly. Okay, so we alternate. Got it. Got it. That's why it's an appropriate button, because it depended on the mode. I get it. Huh. Holy shit, look how far I went. God damn. Oh, I pressed that way too early. That was an accident. My fat thumb hit it too early. Oh, that was the other button. That's alright. That was pretty good. How'd we do? Ooh, I feel like I could beat that. I feel like I could beat that. I kind of fucked up on the jump in the beginning. Let me do that again. Mini games, mini games, mini games. Whoop! Okay. Here we go. Ready? Huh? 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 You gotta pay attention which button it's gonna be. It doesn't alternate there. Ooh, wrong button. That's okay. I feel like I beat it. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah! Oh, man. I destroyed that shit. Give me 280. Let's go. Let's try another one. This is actually a, an easy way for me, personally, to get these coins if I just want to grind it out. 
Okay, so this one's a little different. This one is left, square, right, circle. Left, square, right, circle. That's still pretty easy to do for me. I think I can do that. Here we go. Or right square, sorry. Woo! Look at him go! Kia! 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 Ooh. How'd I do? How'd I do? Nice! First try! Nice. And this does seem like a more fun minigame than the others. It is. I like this one. I'm having fun just messing around with this one. Anyway, let's see how super hard goes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. That's uh, interesting. So it's up triangle, left circle, down X, right square. So... No, wait. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so opposite circles. Opposite circles. Got it. I think I can figure that out. That was terrible. I He ran so fast I wasn't expecting it. I kind of fucked up from the very beginning. Well, I actually got 11th place from just that. I was sad. Man, okay. Let's try that again. Okay, I feel like I did okay, but I could have been better. Kia oh, I pressed it too late. Boo. Man, okay. One more try. I gotta at least get the skipping part right. Come on. Oh, I feel like I jumped hella far that time. Jesus. Boo. Boo. Boop. Boop. Oh. Oh, no. Wrong button. Damn it. It's okay. Woo. Let's go. Dude, you can get some good coinage out of this. Like, seriously. This is the most lucrative coin one I've seen. Although this one actually requires some skill. Like, actual skill. Separate from just actually doing a fighting thing. I'm going to do one more round of this just for some coins. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I tried to get one more button press in before I press the jump button. I like that I'm still getting coins even though I'm fucking this up. This is nice. Fast retries. This is nice. What? I pressed it. Oh, come on. I definitely pressed it. Don't fuck with me, game. I just want to get one more jump in. Come on. There we go. Triangle. Boop. X. Down. Oh, damn it. Press the wrong direction. Ooh, still got further, though. Wow. I fucking did really good on the initial jump, that's why. Anyway, that's a fun mini game. I like that. That's a new record for easy. Ooh, we got new records for everything. So I got a Bienfu hat for Rokuro. I got a Bienfu hat for Magilu, Bienfu hat for Velvet, and a Bienfu hat... Wait, no, Ride Along Bienfu. Oh. I see. Nice. And we got the Bienfu guard for Lafayette. And hat. Nice. 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 Fucking nice. Hella worth it. Plus, I got a shit ton of coinage that we can now use on things. I don't, like I mentioned before, I don't really care about the Norman sets right now. They're expensive, plus if it's just mascot, different colors, I don't really care. I'll get them later. Ooh, we can get a Bienfu hat for Eleanor? Mmm. We don't have one for her. I want one for everyone. Then we can have the Bienfu squad. I feel like some of these weren't even available before. Or maybe they were and I just didn't get them because I didn't know what they were. Maybe there's just new stuff here that wasn't here before. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and just get the Bianfu hat. I earned it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Regular hat? Let's just get this. Still waiting for Omlivan's info. I'm still 
working on it, FML. I only share it with my closest of fans. You know what I'm saying? But FML, thank you for the resub for 13 month arenos. Appreciate it. On that one year streak, boy. I'm gonna get this Danger Junior. I don't know what that means, but I'm getting it. All right. Very interesting little mini game. I wouldn't mind coming back to grind that out for some coins if I can, unless I find a better mini game than that to grind coins on. That game I can actually have fun playing. That's Yuri, you believe? Oh, as in Yuri from Vesperia? I might check that out. What was it called again? Mr. What? Okay, now I got to check. Hold on. So here's the hat I just bought. Regular ass white hat. Danger. Okay. Danger Jr. So this is Yuri. It's kind of like the mini Lloyd we got. I mean, technically Yuri was supposed to be a super dangerous, uh, you know, character person in the in the v Vesperia world. Also, here's our ride along Bienfu that we just got as well. Bookworm Sori? Who the fuck is that? Is that another character from a different Tales game? Probably. Um... But yeah. Cool. Moving on. I hope you can avoid Picrack when you're gone. What do you mean? When I'm gone where? I'll never avoid Picrack. I'm super obsessed with Picross, guys. Like, seriously. Also, is there another minigame over here? What the hell is this? Younger daughter of the character car family. Princess cards. Oh. Sure. I'll play another round of this. Why not? I like this minigame. This minigame is kind of fun. This looks the same as the other one, though. I mean, it's fun in the sense that it's a thing, but I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing, if I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I don't really understand all the rules. But I get the general idea. Um, uh, what am I collecting first here? Uh, I guess I'll just take this one and take, uh, I'll take her. Genus. He's a fucking genus. I'll take him. Zelos and genus. Ooh, and I get to pick another one. Um, I'll take this cool looking guy. So many Tales characters Funky doesn't know yet. One day he will know. He will learn. Uh, I guess this one. Ya yeah, boy. Vesperia. Vesperia. I think if you pair stuff like princesses and best friends, you get bonuses and stuff like that. I think you're right. I just don't really know which ones are princesses and which ones are best friends. So... I mean, I could probably guess the best friends from the games I know, but that's about all I would know. I'm sure there's extra rules here I'm not understanding because I don't know all the characters. Anyway, here, have one of these. Nice, Lucky. You said you can't make me failing next Wednesday. I assume you're taking a vacation. Technically, you're right, FML. I will be not available next week. You're right. But what I'm really hoping is that you'll stream it on Sunday and s after we're done with Stardew so I don't have to miss it. You should do that. Also, yo, crown princess for the win. Finish round. I'll take it. Take the win while you can. I feel like that round wasn't very good. That's why I didn't get a lot done. I don't know. Are Judith and Raven best friends? I don't really even remember. I don't think Yuri and Raven are. Or, sorry, <laughs> Yuri and Judith, rather. Love me some Judith, though. Judith is my bae from Vesperia, for show. Open one hand and shit in the other. That's disgusting, sir. But seriously, FML, you should actually 100% play Getting Over It after we finish Stardew. For real, though. Do it. Do it. Do it now. 
Oh, that's booty. That was straight booty sauce. Hell yeah, Yuri Estelle, best friends forever. No, not sworn allies. I don't know what that means. No, heroic sign. I don't know what that means either. Ah, shit. Tales of Symphonia. No. Oh, shit. They got all the Tales of Symphonia characters. Oh, no. I got wrecked on that round. Damn. If you get all six from one game, you are ahead of the game. I had something like that happen to me first time I played this minigame. I got a big old chunk of points, and I didn't even know why. I want you to ruin your Sunday. Just say it. Just say it. Nah. It's not that I want you to ruin your Sunday. I want you to have a Sunday fun day. Wow, this is a very interesting hand. Man. Taking all the possible combos. What a dick. What the? Mm, I see how it is. You have to get kind of lucky to get, um, like, all the matches for one game. You really do. Take my boy Genus. There you go. Lloyd and Genus are best friends. Ooh, continue round. I need more points. I'm pretty sure this only goes three rounds. You need more points than that to win. Yeah, Heroic Scion, whatever that means. Uh, continue, that's still not enough. Yo, <laughs> Yuri and Raven. I mean, that's the end of the round, I guess. Not enough to win. Rip. No, I'm good. I like that minigame, but I need to understand it better still. I think I get what the symbols mean. The star means that they are a main character, and the two people icons means they're like bro characters. Oh, okay. I wasn't really paying attention to the icons too closely. I probably should have been. The only thing I was paying attention to was which game they were from. But okay. I guess that makes sense. Sunday Funny involves women, unless there's a bitch coming out of the game, then and it's not going to be fun. I mean, just play the fucking game, FML. Quit being a little bitch about it. Take your punishment like a man. Fucking play the game. Get it out of, get it out of the way so I can watch live and be there to laugh at your struggles and have a good time. God damn it. All right. Well, anyway, let's keep exploring. Getting sidetracked by all these mini games. Not that I'm complaining. They're mini games I'm actually enjoying. Penguinos! They're everywhere. They're apparently not afraid of a demon. I'm a friggin' demon. Uh, I'm a freaking demon. You don't want to see me. wonder where the other treasure is in this area. There's still a treasure chest in this area, but I don't know where. Donde esta it resides, I do not know. This would have been a good spot to grind for these fucking kit and caboodle tokens. There's a lot of them in this area. I could have just done a lap and then reset. Time to look for good an hour because it's Wednesday class time. All right, Bakalba, have fun. Learn a lot, please. Wind Waker's a shit game anyways. Ocean Horn is where it's at. Disagree! Wind Waker is better game. But that Ocean Horn game did look pretty cool. I'd be down to try it someday. I mean, I never really watched any gameplay of it. I just knew what it was. I knew it was inspired by like some Zelda Breath of the Wild stuff. But I never played it. Now I have reason to do so. Because I've seen it. Looks fun. Probably will play it. What's up, old lady? The people of Southgand originally worshipped Amanuch, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea. 
Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Aminoch. But the Abbey worships Aminoch, 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 don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in Southgand is a special case. The village is called Haria. And Hadia. even now they keep their faith in Aminoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? They can't control what's in your heart, can they? My expedition has returned. Take Hell a look at yeah. this. Take a look at this. Sea wolf fang. Scout ship keep going. Setting. Until we learn learn about the next area, we gotta keep going. Uh, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Over there was a, 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 a mini game. Wait. Is the other conversation thing under underneath here? And I missed it? Oh shit, there is. Hello, guy. What does it mean to become an adult? <laughs> the eternal question of youth. Have you ever heard of the ceremony of adulthood? It's a yearly tradition on this island. If I remember right, it's totally wild. Everyone throws bananas and porringes at each other. Traditionally, yes, but things have changed over the years. Bananas and porringes are a thing of the past. People are always reaching for bigger and better things, right? In this case, it's watermelons. Whole watermelons. You're throwing watermelons? That's gotta hurt. Trust me, I know. But watermelons are the least of our worries. Recently, people have started flinging coconuts. Coconuts? Those things are as hard as rocks! Trust me, I know. Like getting hit with a brick. Now, every year, there are some kids who never make it to adulthood. You don't mean they... Yeah, I've kept putting it off myself, but it looks like this year I've got no choice but to participate. That's crazy. It's far too dangerous. And more importantly, how does it make someone an adult? There are ancient traditions that say overcoming danger marks a child's coming of age. Some people still cling to the old ways. You've hit the nail on the head. There are lots of old folks that sit around complaining how weak as darn kids are. The hypocrites. Back then, they used bananas and watermelons. They even cracked the watermelons ahead of time. I don't think cracking a coconut would help much either. So that's why you're standing about looking blue. I'm so ashamed of myself for being scared. If you don't want to do the ceremony, why not just skip it? I'd love to, but I don't really have a choice. I wouldn't be able to show my face around here if I chickened out. Having the courage to say no to something you don't feel is right. Isn't that the true mark of an adult? Wait, you're right! <laughs> now I can finally become an adult! Oh yeah! Look how grown up I am! <laughs> and getting carried away with yourself and acting the fool is the true mark of immaturity. Sorry, you're right. Look at me, I don't have to do what I'm told! So mature! <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, getting pelted with coconuts? No bueno. Probably dying. I mean, he just basically said kids died from that ceremony. That sounds pretty effed. Anyway, welcome back, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, it's spring break for you, so no school today. Awesome. Awesome. Always good to have a day off. So, welcome back to the stream, good sir. Okay, so I guess I was supposed to go over here by the shop and the inn and stuff and see a scene or something. Do some stuff. Actually, is there going to be anything in here? No scene for staying here? Okay. No scene for staying here. No scene for... Ba -ba -da. Staying here. Ba -ba -da. Okay, so this leads down to that way, so I just didn't come up here. Okay. Well, let's check the shop real quick before we go. Uh, go. Before we... Continue with the story is what I mean. I haven't really been shopping much. I should load up on some fucking peach gels. I've had a couple people suggest I should start loading on peach gels, so I'm going to do so. Amp this is a new weapon, isn't it? Amphible paper. Interesting. I don't have that or that or that or that. Or that. 
You're actually pretty hyped for spring right now, FML. You're going to go kayaking. Sounds like a good time. You should go hardcore with it. Lose, you know, work on that. Make the kayaking your actual workout. Also, holy crap, there's all of these accessories and shit I don't have yet either. There's too many things. I'm about to use all my money. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, dude. I bet you if I explore this place, I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff. You know what? I'm going to hold off. That's too much money, but I will buy... I already bought the gels and stuff, didn't I? Okay, yeah. I'll hold off. Only because I don't want to spend all my money on that stuff. And I feel like once I've explored this island, I'll know whether or not I need to buy more stuff. I'm still working on things for everybody, so it's not like I'm ready for new weapons yet. It's no big deal. Um, I should enhance some stuff, though. I haven't been doing that at all. The weapon I'm... How about this? The weapon I have equipped on everybody? That's what we're going to level up right now. Actually, that's kind of the plan. You use your arms a lot to row. Yeah, I know what kayaking is, sir. But thank you. My point is... Go hard on the kayak. Go as hard as you can go. Actually, I don't want to level up his weapon. I'd rather level up the guys who are actually fighting, like this guy. Guys who are actually working on their punches and kicks, you know? The bracelet. Yeah, let's level up the Floric Spear a little bit. And I guess we'll do this one as well. I'm running out of bronze scraps, though. Could probably dismantle some. I have tons of shit here. You've had no sense of when holidays or days off occur for a good four years of your life since high school. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Sometimes you're like, oh shit, we have today off, don't we? Yeah. I, I know the feel. Trust me on that. I know the exact feel. So wait, you can't dismember... So, dismember. You can't... You can only... No, here we go. Armor. I was going to say, you can't do this to armor? Fuck yeah, you can. I have a ton of armor I don't need. This is all armor, right? Yeah. Men and women. Rings. Boots. Look at all these fucking floric... Like, I got boots out the ass. I don't need all these fucking boots. But I'm not going to get, like, what I want out of them. Amber fragments. Calcite fragments. I want... I want bronze scraps is what I want. I guess amber fragments, or sorry, calcite. Yeah, I guess calcite fragments are good too. Yeah, here, we'll get rid of this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Probably get rid of more, but I'm just kind of—I'm just kind of. This is something I definitely should do off screen as well. Is just go through and dismantle hella shit. So I—I I will. I'll do that some other time. That I think I will. Now that I have it on my brain, maybe between now and next time, I'll do a bunch of dismantling, clear out my inventory a little bit. Also, Maro, welcome. How are you? Let's talk to this guy because this is what we're here for. Hey, this doll? It looks like the Enfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... Ah. Ah. Oh. Wait, that sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Ah, fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! Uh, 
Ugh. You mentioned Grimoire as a Moloch before now. You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking Magilu. Spies everywhere. Don't listen to them. Okay, wait. Am I supposed to go? Part of me thinks I'm probably supposed to go this way. Let's go check over here. I know the other side of town where I was at first. At first, I kind of ditched that area to come over here. Oh, see, this is probably where I'm supposed to go. Okay, hold on. Let me just go back to the first area of the town. Kind of finish exploring it. Because I didn't really finish. And then we'll go to the beach. Sounds like a plan to me. I spent a lot of time in this town already, man. Freaking Tales games. You can spend so much time just wandering around. It's so ridiculous. Doop, do, 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 do. There's also an exclamation point or two over here, which were not here earlier, I don't think. I think they popped up once I got that scene with uh, what's her face and what's his face. Teresa and her brother. Oscar? Was that his name? Oscar. Oscar! And yes, we need more perversion around here. Hence why Maro has shown up to cast her perversion upon the chat. Though she needs motivation, I'm sure. She can't just... She's not just going to come in hot with the perversion. That, that's a walker move. Alright, so what the fuck is this shit? It's like a grape? It looks like a grape. Oh, this is like the bar or whatever. So how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. Otherwise, you just pelt them with coconuts and they die. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it looks like we got some new requests. Or at least one. Flesh Rending Star. This one is in the Mocklear Beach area, which is where we're headed next. How convenient. This game's been pretty straightforward with its heart, uh, whatever you want to call these, these mark enemies that we have to kill. It's been pretty straightforward. They've always been in like the area we're about to be in. Or we find them before we even find them on the list of to-dos. So, been pretty convenient. Oh, wait. Are we actually going to the roof right now? Apparently. Silky paper. I don't remember if that was one I could have bought. But that's a reason why I didn't buy shit yet. Because you never know what you're going to find. Same with fighting the monsters in the area. I want to fight them and see what they drop before I spend money on stuff that they might... I just might get a bunch of with drops. It's very, very likely that that will happen. Uh, there's not another scene here, so... Okay. See ya. There's one more scene out here, though. Hello. It's so, a true so, shame oh, that Lady Teresa will be leaving our island. I'm a little relieved, to tell you the truth. She was a bit too strict for a free soul like me. I guess not even the heat of South Can could melt her icy cold personality. But strict as she was, she was also fair. She never asked anyone to do what she wouldn't do herself. Even when we were fighting with Haria Village over the temple, she kept her cool and listened to what they had to say. If it wasn't for her, we'd probably still be squabbling with Haria. That's true. But did the Abbey really need to take over the temple for themselves? <sighs> she was really pretty too. Sorry to whoever takes her place, but she's the only exorcist for me. Lady Teresa Linares! You were our protector! Yeah, 
We need the chilly charms of the Frozen Queen to cool down the heat in Southgand. <laughs> ah, the way those ice-cold eyes of hers look down at me with disdain, like I was something filthy. Teresa forever! Wow, there's one in every town. Teresa forever! I would lick her shoes! Okay, calm down with the Teresa, Teresa talk, sir. She's still kind of an ice-cold bit. Shh, just saying. Okay, so apparently there's a treasure chest in this area still. Where the fuck? And there's also another talk scene. Oh, over there. Maybe the chest is over there. Did I, um... Hmm. Could be in the lower area. Let's see. I guess this... Oh, here you go. Oh, here it is. There it is. Found it. Poison Ward. Cool, cool. I don't remember if that was one of the ones I could have just bought. So, again, glad I didn't spend money yet. Southgan lumber exports have been on the rise. But so has the popularity of South Gan cuisine. Like Pengyong? Pengyongs are our flagship food, and our Pengyong farms are flourishing. But oranges, bananas, and our other fruits also sell well. Oranges. I've never had any oranges or bananas. Oranges Banana are sweet but tart and very juicy. They're the perfect refreshment on a hot day. They're that fruit that glows in the dark, right? Also known as candle fruit? That's the one. And now bananas. They're soft, sweet, and filling when eaten raw. But if you dry them out, they get crunchy like peanuts. And they stay good for years. South Gand is pretty well off compared to other places. The fish are plentiful, and the trees are heavy with fruit. That's why I'm shipping the excess to other towns. This guy here, he's a true sailor. Yeah, good luck. I wish you the best. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm just over here exploiting my hometown for all I can get out of it. Money, 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 money. What you think I do this out of good? Do the this out of the goodness of my heart? Money, bitch. All right. So anyway, let's head back over to the other side of town and get on with the show, shall we? To the Maclevere Beach or Mac? What was it called? Maclemore Beach. Wait, did we ever go in here? I don't think I went in here. Oh, this is the church. There's a scene in here, too? God damn it. Okay. I just realized I didn't go in this building. I thought this was the building I was going to need to go into to make progress, actually. That's why I didn't go in here. Well, let's talk to the fucking priest guy. Come, sinner, and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even... Look at how you're dressed! Now you lusty whore! Oh, how long have confess I your sins! I sold to someone, but I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? Oh boy. <laughs> Me? But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush. I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling. Smother me in your embrace. Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind <laughs> of lines of a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying. To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. <laughs> I don't want to forgive you! Wow. I don't want to forgive you! That was pretty hilarious. I like that she's like... She basically gave him a hard-on, and then he was like, Ah, oh, shit, don't lie to me! My... <sighs> also, apparently there's another scene? What? Okay. Also, welcome to the stream, Frog. How you doing? Come, sinner. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. 
I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes. I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> Got him. Uh, I thought we were about to go through our entire party and he's going to tell us all about everybody. No, just the sinners that we have, which are Magi Lu and fucking Rokoro, apparently. Apparently Laffy said and Aizen and Velvet and even Eleanor are fucking clean as a whistle. Can't blame them for anything ever. Wait, where'd my path go? I'm lost. Oh, it's over here. I forgot how good I hear. I thought we. I thought we. So wait, there was nothing else in this area? That was just dead end tavern. Blah 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 Okay. All right then, guys. To the beach we go. I do kind of agree, Magilu. She does need to shut the fuck up sometimes. I will say though that with that conversation with the priest was fucking worth it. She was fucking with him, and that was worth it. I give her that. She sometimes she just prods. Just to stir stir up some shit with the party, and it's like, bitch, you better calm, you better back the fuck down. Also, you know what I need to do real quick? Sell some shit. I got a bunch of extra, or I shouldn't say extra. I got a bunch of stuff that I almost have, like 99 of. I need to clear it out. Like these comfries, sell them all. I'm just gonna sell all my coins too. Give me, give me the money. For the love of money. So how's everybody doing on this fine Wednesday, warm Wednesday morning or evening? Well, it's not warm over here. Tell you what, it's actually been fucking pouring rain for the last couple hours. Although I think it might have stopped by now. Shit was a thunderstorm. It was hell loud with the thunder. I thought I was going to be streaming through some thunder, but it hasn't thundered since I started, unfortunately. 